Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who register through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a neon canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. In our um, envelope here, we have four things for you this month. Um, we have got our two paint pot colors. Um, one is a neon blue, and this month I've just got a basic top-notch neon blue. And the other darker color is a denim, not really a navy, but it is a matte paint. Um, we've also provided a um, acrylic paint white paint pen um, that you'll definitely want to shake up and prep. You'll want to have a scrap paper with you or really just your envelope will be fine. A medium round brush here and then our six by six black canvas and these should be wrapped in plastic uh, any other supplies you might need if you're um, if you'd like if you want to do kind of prep with your design you can uh, have a pencil that will help you that should those pencil lines should go away under any of the paint that you put on uh, so you're just going to remove the plastic from your canvas. Um, because this is a little bit more of line, I'm not really protecting my workspace. Uh, you may want to put something down so that you make sure uh, you don't get any paint on your surface. But that's totally up to you. Um, and you'll see in our example, what I was going for was lightning. Um, somebody actually mentioned too, it just looks like kind of a cool cracking um, of like the material or the stone so that's really fun um, and that I kind of like as a design choice I might do that for this one today um, but really any shape that you'd like to draw um, a cloud with this blue neon look could re be really cool um, other projects if you were using other colors I've seen um, fruit so you use like a red do an apple a red and a green in the neon effect um, and really this neon effect is the layers of color coming from the bright white on the inside into the neon color and out to that darker matte color that kind of blends into the black background and really gives you that neon look. Um, so I am going to go ahead and start with the pencil and I think for this one I am going to do a quick cloud design. So I'm just going to do a straight line across there. I'm going to come up and around, give my little cloud some detail here, oh, and mechanical pencils break, all right, really hard to see that light pencil line, but that's perfect, that's exactly what I want, um, and I am going to use just a scrap piece of paper that I've got here for my paint pen, definitely want to shake this paint up. Um, and if you aren't familiar with paint pens, it's very not likely to be paint onto the top of your pen. You have to push that down in order to bring that paint to the paint, to the pen. Um, you don't really want to get too much on there so that we're seeing just a thin line and not a puddle of paint on your design and so I am going to start with my white line here just to give myself a very good sense of where my design is oh, and be careful as you're doing that I just had some paint splatter and I'm going to keep this paint pen moving so that that paint doesn't pool up in any one particular area as I get more onto point of this pen but it's definitely not something that I can continue to draw out my whole design without intermittently getting more paint into the top of the pen All right, just a little bit more this end here all right my pen ready for the next step. Set 
that right aside. Got my two paint pots here. Um, and I do want to start with my brightest color on the inside. So I'll just open this neon paint here. With the medium brush, I, I chose that so that we could get a pretty significant line, um, but you don't want like to fully flatten your brush so you get that fan. Um, I really do want my brush to be pretty narrow there with just a little bit of paint because this is such a thin line. Very likely it's mostly um, dry by now, but I could give it a little bit more time in between um, layers of paint. So I'm just going to come right next to my bottom line here. And I really want to make sure that I'm getting good coverage and that my black canvas from underneath isn't showing through. So I'm really lightly putting my pen or my brush to canvas so that most of what lays down is the paint and not a widespread. I very likely would want to do two layers of this probably. And what I really liked about this technique was how easy it was to go back and kind of clean up areas where you feel like you've gone over or you've got too much of the paint um, covering. Like, oops, there, I just basically covered my white line. Um, but I'm not too concerned. I'll clear it out a little. Because I know I'm going to come back through with that white paint pen at the very end and really brighten those areas. Come back across. And then I'm also going to want to do the same line on the interior. So on both sides of that white line, I want my neon paint to be there. So since this is fairly easy to be painting across this design, I'm going to come in and do that now. I want that bright neon blue to be right in there. And this side, I've got a line that's a little bit wider then perhaps I really need once I get to my darker color. But again, I'm going to be able to color that, cover that up with the darker paint and it will really kind of blend in nicely. Just doing some neon paint here. I know, I'm sure if you've watched any other painting videos, there are some folks who have the ability to really just know the perfect pressure to put down their brush and kind of make those long straight lines with good paint coverage. And this is not that video. And if you are one of those folks, I would love to see sometime. As we always say, we do love to see folks completed projects shared to library social media or your own social media and tagged to the library. As much as I am trying to make sure I get good coverage where I'm not seeing the black of the canvas underneath, I also am trying to not do too thick of a layer of paint um, because that's going to take it a little bit longer to dry. I'm just going to give it a little wave here to see if I can get some of this layer to dry so that as I continue we can get to in the video showing you how some of that laying down the other colors will work. Some of the our videos here don't complete the process um, because we know once we've kind of got you underway, you really have the ability to do and explore your creativity um, with your designs and do something that really speaks to you. So I'm going to go ahead and in the interest of time, I clean my brush off a little bit here, open my denim, and again I can come back across um, with other colors as I need to to brighten areas where um, I lose a little bit. And so even on this one where it's had time to completely dry, 
and I can see there's some pieces like here I wouldn't mind brightening up that neon line a little bit and so have patience with your projects jump back to them after a few days um, this is not just necessarily something that you need to complete in one sitting um, give yourself some some self-care time you know a few different times do one layer really let it have time to dry hopefully visit your library for more materials if this is a um, process or a technique or something that you're interested in trying um, other projects with and kind of getting a sense for those real techniques so there I've kind of come through with more of the neon color in some places where I lost it so here we had gotten a little bit of the um, dark areas the same with right here where it didn't come kind of all the way around the edge all right and I'm not completely dry on my little cloud here but let's go ahead and get some of this darker denim color and kind of start to see so again this one gives you a little bit more coverage because it's darker I'm not seeing that black canvas through so I'm just following just on the outside of that line that I've just laid down with the neon color of paint Come right across let's see start to see that you can see there's the two different colors I've gotten right up next to the neon even kind of covering some of it oh I pushed down a little too hard got a bit of a bump not worried about that going to come back once it's dry and really clean those lines up I don't particularly need for this one for myself I don't feel the need that the lines really need to be crisp and super clean um, I like the little bit of feel the kind of energy of the neon when it's not exactly at least for me although I know I'm sure getting those really great clean crisp lines is something that will make a lot of people happy with their projects so again I'm gonna come on the inside of that line with my denim color and really bring across those gradations all right and as my neon dries I will come back through and give that um, definitely some extra layers because I can see right around there I can see black canvas through same over here um, but with it not super dry I'm gonna be doing nothing more than moving paint around if I try to um, go through it right now or go back over it again right now all right and I'm gonna get my white paint pen and just come back through and really clear up so like I was saying before I was not too concerned that when I was putting the neon layer down I was overlapping this white paint layer um, because I knew I was going to come back through and brighten it up be careful with your shaking of the pen once you've gotten ink of paint to the top because if you just viciously shake it without the lid on you are going to splatter white paint on your sweatshirt oh oh that was a good one so yeah got a little bit of extra white there I'm just gonna kind of try and spread that and pop around and so now you see um, with that white back really bright you start to get that neon look back to it like we have in our example here so we hope you've enjoyed this can this month's canvas project and we look forward to seeing your completed projects and look for next month's canvas projects Thanks for watching.